What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am back again for a new video as we do a review of our game yesterday against Cardiff and I'm smiling very um, very nicely here and it is actually nice to be smiling about a game for once. It doesn't happen much this season at all has it? So I'm going to take the most, I'm going to make the most of it but um, yeah um, well, like I say, if you do like this video, then you can hit the like button. I would really mean a lot to me. And also, you can subscribe to the channel as well. It is free, and it will help me on the road to 200 subscribers, which is my next target. So please, <clears throat> if you can go and show your support, it'd be fantastic, and it is greatly appreciated. Everybody that has shown me the support so far. Um, so yeah, let's get into it then. So yeah, the lineups yesterday. When they came out, I really liked the look of it. I, I really did. Um, the formation as well, obviously, the 4 2 3 1. <clears throat> Brilliant system. Um, I think having that solid back four really, really does help us. Um, rather than playing with the three at the back, which we have done in the past. Um, because I think it allows you to be more solid and it doesn't make you as open. Um, so. It is a really effective formation, and I think that this is the formation that we should be going with um, for the for the remainder of the season, if I'm honest with you, because um, it is a very effective. So with the two holding midfielders, uh, giving that protect, protection to the back four if they need it um, is very, very good too. Um, now, like I say, further forward as well, I like that kind of free behind the striker because it means that the striker up front isn't isolated. They've got players that can overlap or you know, you know what I mean, or you know, can come at the side of them. Um, but they've always got the service there, and I think you know it, it, it's just a really nice formation. Um, obviously, the lineup as well. Kamara getting his first start for the club, which we'll, we'll get into him very, very soon. Um, and yeah, it, it was it was it, it was a very bold selection, but I I didn't disagree with anything there. I think I was happy with who was in. So like I say, Lee Nichols in goal, Turton, Tom Lee's Helic, and Nakayama um, with Holmes. Angerine and Redone as the front three, the defensive midfield as well, sorry, um, of David Kasumu and Etienne Kamara. And then obviously up front we had John Rhodes started the game this one. So yeah, very, very happy with that, like I said. Um, but I mean, the early the early signs of, of, of this match, you know, it, we looked a completely different team. Uh, from the very first moment to what we've actually seen, you know, in in the last few games and from the majority of this season, let's be honest. Um, <clears throat> obviously, getting stuck in a lot more, you know, playing a lot quicker as well. You know, I've I've commented in the past about how slow our play has been, you know, but this game we really did up the tempo and it maintained that throughout the whole match, which I was very impressed by. Um, Another thing that I picked upon was obviously we weren't always playing out the back anymore, um, which is really good to switch things up because, like I said, there is a time for players to play out from the back, in my opinion. Um, sometimes you do have to go along, and we did that when we needed to. So, yeah, I like the variation within our play as well. Um, let's talk about the goal. Rhodes. The absolute goat that Rhodes is, I absolutely love him. He's a legend at this football club and he always will be. Um, getting on the score sheet, like I say, fantastic move though. Brilliant speed of play yet again. Uh, Tino obviously played the ball into Holmes and then finds Rhodes just on the edge of the D. Great feet, by the way. And you know he gets a fantastic track away and he gets into the back of the net. And it really did set the tone for this match because, and we deserve that goal from what we produced, the start we'd made, sorry. Um, and then obviously, 
there always seems to be a bit of controversy in our games. We never seem to escape it. Um, and it was, they, of course, the penalty decision that we got, that, that Cardiff got, sorry. Um, I, I think, in all fairness, I don't think this was a penalty at all, to be honest with you. You know, the place, you know, stooped, and that's what made it a high foot. But to me, you know, if somebody's going in with the intent of trying to get the ball, um, you know, and looking at the ball, I, I don't understand the rulings that have changed this season, really, because last season, that wouldn't have been a penalty. Outside the box, it would have been, but inside, it wasn't. Um, but I don't get it. I really don't, because, like I said, Tino was looking to try and get, like I said, he was trying to, obviously, you know, get the ball, and he had, the, had his eye on the ball. There was no contact at all. And, yeah, I totally confused him. But anyway, the referee did give a penalty, um, but justice was served. Um, obviously, Robinson steps up for, for Cardiff, and Nichols with a brilliant save down to his right hand side, um, and we all celebrated like that was a goal because it was a big moment in that match. Because had they have scored that, we could have been talking about a completely different scoreline. So yeah, you know the luck was on our side to a degree yesterday. But I think we've had an awful lot of look at go against us this season. So I think we've warranted that. And especially with his performance as well, we warranted that look. As they say, you always earn your own look in, in games. And we certainly did in this one. Um, like I say, Cardiff did keep coming forward. Like I say, they always looked a bit dangerous. Uh, but defensively, we're so organised in this one. And we gave them no time on the ball, which previously, again, all new things. You know, because defensively, as we know, we've been all over the place in the past. You know, we've given time to players, you know, you know, on the ball. But this time, it was completely different and it was just really refreshing to see. Um, but yeah, again, <clears throat> again, our next chance came from pressing the defender into panic mode. He ends up losing it. Jones wins the ball. Um, and Slave drives forward as he always does, Jones. Um, and like I say, gets the ball across, brilliant ball across to Thomas, who was in acres of space. And I'm not sure how he's missed it. He completely scuffed the shot. Um, and yeah, it really should have been 2 0 at that point. Um, but yeah, we see out the game. Absolutely magnificent performance, it really was. From every single player, you know, everyone working hard for each other, you know, and showing so much terrier spirit, you know. We fully deserved the win, for you know, there's no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, first of all, before I go any further, the first special mention has to be to, has to, be to our assistant who stepped in for this game, Chico as we, need, as we call him, um, the selection, he got it absolutely spot on, um, and the tactics as well, you just couldn't fault it, you know, making the subs at the right time as well, um, obviously, bringing off Tino at half time, Tino did struggle in this match admittedly, um, so he did bring him off. Uh, and yeah, I just love the time of the changes. I think it was really effective. Um, he took Radoni off, obviously, just before the hour mark for Jones. Holmes came off um, for Sorba Thomas. And John Rhodes came off in the 90th minute for Luke and Betty. Um, but yeah, as I was saying about Chico. Um, I think personally, um, probably won't be watching this, so I won't watch it, but I just want to thank him because, you know, when Carlos left, he quite easily could have left with him, but he decided to stay and help as an assistant, and full credit to him for that because um, we really are lucky to have someone 
as knowledgeable and as great as he is. Um, I think he's got a lot of knowledge about it. He knows what he's doing, and you could see the respect that he got from them players, you know, in the build-up to this match, um, and you know what they produced on the pitch yesterday. Um, yeah, and like I say, it really did feel like we got our team back yesterday. It really did, um, <clears throat> and a massive part of that was thanks to him, you know, for doing the work in training. And telling the, la the lads how he wants them to play. And they all delivered. And they all bought into his ideas. Um, and that is fantastic to see. You know, the work ethic. The desire, the determination. The effective press, that which I mentioned earlier. Everything about this performance. Epit epitomised what we are about. And what we are capable of. Um, because, you know... We've had a terrible start to the season, we know that, but I always knew it, we had it in us because we have got talent in that squad. There's no doubt about it. Um, and, you know, we have been more than able, you know, in, in terms of competing at the Championship in the seasons gone by. And, and yeah, we, we're, we're a solid Championship team and we, you know, we shouldn't be in the position we are in the, in the, in the bottom three at the moment. But, the reality is that the table doesn't matter now. The table matters come the end of the season. And, you know, if we keep playing like that and keep picking up points, which I'm sure we will do, playing like that, then we will climb the table and, 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 we'll, and you know, the, the table will look after itself, if you could say so. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, we've got to talk about the defence as well in this game yesterday, I mean. What a fantastic performance by Healy. By the way, he was a bit shaky in that first game we saw him, actually. And I thought, hmm. But he was absolutely solid, you know, in this one. And everything he possesses, you want in the centre-half. Especially this performance he produced. You know, won everything in the air. <clears throat> and on the floor. Leeds played fantastic too. And Turton and Nakayama looking solid at both left full-backs. Uh, positions but I think with the addition of, of such an experienced head like Helik you know he's a brilliant signing and, and really brilliant that we actually got him um, because he will set the foundations to that defence and he will organise he's very vocal um, he just I just don't see any flaws in his defensive duties I really don't I think he's fantastic um, and then of course, uh, so yeah, defensively, fantastic, you couldn't fault the defence in this one, you, you know, they did their jobs when required, and we didn't give Cardiff any easy opportunities, um, and the opportunities they did get were from outside the box, um, and when they did get into the box, we were closing down very quickly, so, you know, very, very effective defensive duties, and it, it was fantastic to see. Um, so, yeah, obviously, we have to mention this, by the way. You know, the partnership that Kamara and Kasumu had in this one, because they were unbelievable. This isn't a partnership that I'm really looking forward to seeing develop as well, by the way, throughout the season. You know, Kamara getting his first start and at 19 years of age, yeah. You know, he showed no fear, didn't, you know, he was unbelievable, you know, um, was so calm on the ball as well, finding a town man more often than not, hardly gave the ball away, uh, got stuck in, like I say, and the ground he covered, he covered so much ground, it was just, it, it was just, um, you know, incredible, um, he really was everywhere, you know, he seemed like he was anywhere, um, like I said, we saw a glimpse of him before. Obviously, me, I kind of follow the B team as well. You know, I get to games when I can. So I've seen what he can produce in the B team. We know that, you know, going into senior football, men's football, it is a totally different ball game, isn't it? And he's showed him glimpses throughout this, you know, when he's got a chance from the bench, what he can do. Um, and, you know... You know, getting that start, you know, to, you know, yesterday, 
he showed what he can really do from the outset and really imposing himself in the match. Um, you know, Kasumu as well, absolutely brilliant. You know, he he he, he was just dictating play as was Kamara. Um, and you know, I just really hope we can keep him fit because there is still that question mark over whether we can keep him fit because obviously his injury issues have been a big problem to him. But I'm really, really hopeful that we can keep him fit. And if we can, he will be such a vital player for us this season. You know, it's fantastic, fantastic to watch. He really is. Um, and then obviously Radone. Was brilliant again, you know what you, you know what Jack has has done since he's come in. I don't think I've seen him have a very bad game. When he's had when he's when he's not had the greatest of games, he's probably been okay, but he's not been terrible in his off days. Um, but more often than not, he produces. Um, you know, like I say, call constantly causing problems to that Cardiff defence yesterday. You know. Always goes forward, looking to go forward. Uh, the work, but the work, yeah, especially mention this by the work rate and desire to help defensively was for all to see yesterday too. Absolutely phenomenal work rate by him. Um, but yeah, another solid performer. You, you just can't fault any of these performances that we had yesterday because they were all. Everyone played their part in that result. They really did. Um. But yeah, I mean, Tino, like I said earlier, he did look a bit off in this one, if I'm honest with you. Uh, he still gave maximum effort, though. He still was trying his best, which is all you can ask. But yeah, he looked like... He, he, he did look like he was having a bit of an off day. Um, but we know what he can produce, and we know the talent he is. So um, he may have the odd game like this, but more often than not, when we've seen him this season... It has produced more, you know, more games than it hasn't. So I, it's it's one of those, isn't it? You just gotta accept it, and you know he'll be back next game for sure. Um, and then Holmes, I mean, wow, Dwayne Holmes, what is going on at the moment? You know, he played very, very well. I mean, you know. You could see the effort was putting in this time, which I've criticised in the past, admittedly, but this game you couldn't fault it, you know. And, you know, really causing problems too going forward, looking very dangerous, you know. Um, he ran out of steam eventually, um, and obviously he got replaced when he did run out of steam, but yeah, a brilliant performance by him. I can't, I can't fault him really. And then we have to speak about the absolute goat, the legend, that is JR9, Jordan Rhodes. Getting another goal to add to his tally. Um, what a player he is. What a professional he is off, on and off the field. You know, uh, he, he is the goat. He, re he really is. You know, in this one, he never stopped running. You know, he'll continue to score goals as long as he gets serves. It's as simple as that. You never lose your touch. Yes, okay, he's a bit slower now, but he, he you know, he's a very, very top quality player and full of experience. And throughout his career, he's scored goals for fun. So he's, he's, he'll never lose that touch. And, you know, I really do think he will retire with us as well, which is is a credit to him that he wants to retire at this club. I think that he has such a love for the club, um, obviously in his second spell with us. And yeah, um, he is trying to beat records, you know, in the goal scoring charts. Um, he really is with, with what is, you know, the goals he's scoring um, and obviously um, wanting to get as high as he can in the all time goal scorers for the club too. Um, so yeah, and then obviously after the game, the man of the match, yeah, it had to be, it had to go to this guy um, of many, many um, players that really were outstanding yesterday. But in the circumstances, um, Etienne Kamara, 
was absolutely phenomenal. He really was. And to say it was his first start, I mean, he's 19. I mean, it's unbelievable. What a bright future he has ahead of him. Um, he's, he, nothing seems to phase him, and nothing phased him yesterday. Um, I mean, I'm going to just go through a few stats with you of his performance, uh, just to back up my point here, because, you know, I use this app, this app that does stats, very, very knowledgeable app. Um, obviously rated him of 8.7. That was the highest match rating achieved uh, yet by any town player so far this season, which speaks volumes um, and full credit to him for that. Um, now, if you look at his jewels, um, that he won, he won every jewel he took. Six out of six ground jewels and four out of four aerial jewels. Um, like I say, he used his body and height so so well uh, to hold the ball, and then obviously and, and obviously calming passing it off to the another teammate. The calmness of his play. Um, and he also didn't commit a single foul, so his discipline is top notch too. Um, now in the attack, Kamara obviously completed two out of three accurate long balls and six passes into the final third, um, which shows that intent that he's more than keen to you know to, to progress the ball upfield as well. Um, he also created the most chance in the game, which was two along with Yuta Nakayama. I'm just looking at the heat map here of um, his play throughout the game. Um, obviously he's left footed. He was everywhere. It just shows it in this map. I wish I could show you this map, but it just shows the amount of ground he covered, which I mentioned earlier. And this just backs it up. You know, he was everywhere, running until the final whistle. Um, like I said, I think this team also shows that he is more comfortable on the left, being left-footed, obviously. But he also has an eye for a di diagonal through ball for attackers on the right, mainly, obviously, Dwayne Holmes at the moment. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's just fascinating to see. I love a heat map, um, and I think that, yeah, this one um, just really sums it up um, of how solid he was yesterday. Um now, with his pass as accurate passing, he completed 33 out of 42, which is 78.6%. Um, obviously, that shows room for improvement. Um, and obviously, he lost the possession 10 times. But when he did lose the possession, he got back, got stuck in, and won the ball back more often than not. And that's what I loved about him. Um, and like I say, he's 19. You know, this all... You know, all the things, you know, that maybe we can look at that maybe, you know, in terms of the accurate passes, you know, the, the possession lost at times, um, this will all come with experience. And I think this starting point from it isn't bad at all, is it? You know, really isn't. Um, like I say, he, he is another promising talent from our B team setup. He really is. Um, like I say, his composure... The flair he has and the progressive mindset that he has as well will be a great tool for us this season. Um, I think, like I said, I think he'll look, you know, that partnership with Kasumu, it just complements each other so well. And, and from yesterday's show, and it was so impressive. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing more of him this season um, now because I, I do think that he will be, a, now he's produced. Um, I think that we will see a lot more of him this season in the, t in the team. Um, and I know it's only one game and it's no good getting carried away. But I've, se you know, I've seen it in glimpses when he's come on before. And now this. <gasps> you know, it was unbelievable. So yeah, well done to Etienne Kamara um, on the Man of the Match award. <clears throat> So yeah, that concludes the preview. I think that obviously, just lastly before I go, I think this result is a massive boost going to this international break now. We really did need this, you know. Um, 
this feels like more than three points because I believe this will kickstart our season now. I do because I think against Stoke, we didn't see this level of performance against Stoke, even though we won. I still feel like this game was a lot better in terms of performance as well as the result. Um, so I, that's why I think that this will be the game that really pushes us on. Um, and yeah, it'll give a boost to everybody at the club. Um, and it's just nice going to this international break with some positivity, of course, um, which, you know, is really crucial and yeah and like i said the fans as well yesterday was so fantastic it was so loud brilliant atmosphere um and yeah more of the same this season please for that in that department for sure and as long as the players you know perform like that that's all we can ask um but yeah it'll certainly be interesting to see obviously now looking ahead um I fully expect, obviously, a manager to come in during the international break. Um, who that will be it is still very relatively unknown at the moment. Um, there's still a lot of rumours going around. Um, but it is worth noting that, obviously, our assistant, who uh, Chico, um, who took the game yesterday, will be staying on as assistant. So that is brilliant that he's able to keep stay with us. But yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak about this game and talk you through it, in my view and my opinions of what I saw on the field. Um, I think the celebrations at the end were truly special as well. It was great to have them celebrations back. And yeah, it really did feel like we got our football club back eventually, you know, finally. Um, and it brought a smile to everybody's faces. Um, in the terraces, um, which was a joy to see too. So yeah, like I say, we head into the international break on the back of a crucial win against Cardiff, which finished one 0 of course, courtesy of Jordan Rhodes. And um, I will be back after the international break. I hope you enjoy the time off from now up until the next game, which is Reading, of course. Um, so yeah, if you did like the video, please hit the like button, it would really mean a lot to me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I am on the road to 200 subscribers, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so please, if you can help me, it would mean a lot to me, and it is greatly appreciated, everybody's support so far. Uh, comment your thoughts, comment your thoughts on anything you'd like to mention. Um, I would love to hear from you town fans. Um, but yeah, as ever, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Up the town.